Why didn't you stop and say, Mr. President, this is wrong. I cannot discuss this with you. It's a great question. Maybe if I were stronger, uh, I would have. I was so stunned by the conversation that I just I took it in. And the only thing I could think to say, because I was playing in my mind, because I was remember every word he said, I was playing in my mind, what should my response be? And that's why I very carefully chose the words. And look, I, I've seen the tweet about tapes. Lordy, I hope there are tapes. He says he hopes there are tapes, Chris. I mean, it could, it could you know, clear up a lot of things if there are. Absolutely. I, incidentally, I think that's a, a perfect example of why James Comey was such an effective witness today, because uh, two aspects of that. There were times when he said, I could have been stronger. I could have stood up and done something, and maybe I didn't. He wasn't always pay, painting himself as the hero. Sometimes he was saying, I uh, may have taken the easy way out. The other thing is there were a bunch of times when the Democrats basically were setting him up and wanted him to take a shot uh, at, at Donald Trump, and he refrained from doing that, saying, I'm not sure I'd go to that conclusion. I thought it was very restrained, quite self-deprecating, and uh, it, all it did was increase his credibility because he wasn't painting himself like he was the guy in the white hat and Donald Trump was the guy in the black hat. But boy, it does certainly raise a question. We're, we're never going to know what happened in that meeting unless the president does have a tape, uh, because we're, it will be a he said, he said. We've got Comey his contemporaneous notes, but, you know, those are only as good as uh, what he decided that he was going to write down. We don't know whether the president has a tape or doesn't have a tape, but we do have one piece of evidence, and I thought that Comey clearly was putting out, out there basically saying, hey, ask these other guys. Uh, he's sitting in a room in the Oval Office, the president and Comey, along with, we're told, the attorney general, the vice president, the chief of staff, Jared Kushner, and uh, the president asked them all all to leave, that he wants to be just with Comey. The attorney general tries to hang around, and he says, no, I want you to leave. Kushner, the president's son-in-law, is hanging around. No, I want you to leave. And it does raise the question, the direct question, that James Comey asked before the hearing today, before the, uh, uh, the committee today, why did he ask everybody to leave the room and just want to be alone with James Comey if it was simply an innocent conversation?